Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. This is something I call slash effects in Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, I was watching something on Netflix and I saw this as a title a treatment and I thought this is probably cool to do. So I figured out a way to do it. It's really, really easy. It's really easy to reuse it too. So let me show you a, a few examples of it and then I'll show you how to make it, uh, what not to do and what how to fix things when you don't want the slash to go all the way to the bottom. So let's have a look first at what I've got. So notice the slashes aren't in the same place. And you can do it with images too, and logos, videos. And here's the problem one. We'll go back and fix that in a bit. All right, so let's go to the first one here and break this apart. So you'll notice that I have a title on V1, and then I've got an adjustment layer on top. And to make an adjustment layer, you can just come down here, click, and make a new an adjustment layer. An adjustment layer is a, basically it's a blank clip that can hold effects. And if we look at the effects that I'm using here, I'm using offset. Offset simply moves something left or right or up and down. And when you move something left and right, it just moves the position of it. But if we open this up and look, I have a mask in here. And the mask tells the effect to only occur inside the place where the mask is. So let me get rid of this and I'll start again. So I'll get rid of offset everything. So we're just starting with the title. I could do this on the title itself, but I'll show you why I'm doing it on the adjustment layer in a second. So in the effects, look for offset. There it is. If the clip is selected, all you have to do is double click on it. It shows up. Like I said, offset just moves this from one side to another. The key is to use a mask, but masks are tricky. Before I draw the mask, instead of fitting this in, I'm gonna zoom out because I want to be able to see the outside of this. So maybe 100%, 150, yeah. I wanna be able to click on the outside of this area because I want the, the slash to happen all the way. And that's just a safe thing to do in case the title or the font or the size changed. If the slash, slash effect, the mask was too close, then when you change the font, it would break the effect. So when you make the slash all the way from top to bottom, you're good to go. Now, you'll see the pen tool, and the pen tool is what you want to use. There are no masks here. As soon as I click the pen tool, a mask gets created and it gets selected, but you don't see anything. So I'm going to move my uh, pen tool over here. Notice it's, it's not selected anymore. I'm just using it for this mask. So I'm going to click once down here, move up to the top right, click again, and then I'll go down to here and click and over there, finish, and that locks the two together. Now I'll get rid of this feather amount because I don't want this to be feathered. I want this to be sharp. So here's what we have. We've got the effect only occurring on that area. So if I want it higher, I just move that up. Move that up, oops. And I've got this on an angle. This is a, uh, a Bezier path here. So I'm gonna hold down my Alt key on Windows Option on Mac. And what that's supposed to do is it's supposed to turn that into a corner point, but it doesn't. Anyway, this is part of the, the uh, fun of fighting with masks in, in Premiere Pro. So there's my effect, and there is the slash effect right there. Now here's the reason why I use an adjustment layer, because I want that effect to happen, boom, like that. And also, I do have a scale and uh, there is a bit of scaling happening to the, the title itself. 
it's growing based on the scale, but this is the effect right there. So you could take that adjustment layer and simply copy it to another clip and another clip and another clip. I don't like the, the slash to be the exact same every single time. So that's why I created a different mask for each one of these. And then for some of these, like the, uh, if you look at my logo, it's actually on an angle, a Bezier angle, just to make that look a little bit different. But here's the problem that people have with masks in Premiere Pro. There is no arrow tool to select a point in a mask in Premiere Pro. That's what's in every other Adobe application. Oh, you have a point, you wanna select the point, get the arrow tool and select the point. Well, if I get the arrow tool and go over here, there's no point. There's no masks showing, you actually have to click on mask for it to be shown. And if you click on this again, you will draw another mask. This is the number one problem that people have in Premiere Pro. They realize that the pen tool is the only tool, so I better go get the pen tool to edit the mask, and instead what they've done is they've created a new mask, deselected the previous mask, guess what they do again? They go and grab the pen tool, and it goes over and over again. I've seen people with 15 or 20 masks Ikes, just go over here and delete that mask. So make sure that when you want to edit a mask, you click on the name of the mask. Now carefully come in here and grab that and draw that or start again or come in here in the middle and draw a Bezier path and move that around. Okay, so that's how all of these slash titles were created. They happen in a jerky mode, boom, because that's the effect that I saw. Now, this one example here I wanted to show you was a, a video, and this is, I've got Ultra Key on here because it is a green screen video, and instead of just a simple slash, I got a crazy mask in here. So let's go look at the adjustment layer, turn on my mask, and that's what it is. I just drew all of these crazy points in here. So if I get rid of that mask again, zoom out a bit, Click once on that, and you won't see the effect until you're finished. So you have to close that path. Still not closed. Watch right here when I close that path. Boom, there it is. And each one of these points is editable. You can't move them all at the same time. That, again, is another, uh, oop, gonna make that zero feather. So there's my other effect. And I just have a, a mat behind it. Okay. Next up is the logo, which I showed you. So this works for anything, images, logos, any clip, video, After Effects, uh, dynamic link, anything at all. Now, the last thing I wanted to show you was this example here. And this has a specific problem. See if you can figure out what the problem is. The problem is, if I turn the title off, the slash is also slashing the video. I don't want that. I want the title to slash, but I want the video to do that slow push in. And the reason this happens is, when you have an adjustment layer with an effect on it, it affects everything below it. So it's affecting the title and the video. It's a real simple fix, nest. So I'll select both the adjustment layer and the title, right click and nest it. And I'll call this Outbreak Title. Click OK. And now you'll see the title slashes, but the video doesn't. So if I turn off that and we just look at the video, it does a little push in but the title is on its own. Now to edit that, you've got to double click on it. Now I could edit that title and work on it and come back to the timeline when I need to, but at least I don't have to have everything being affected uh, by that effect. So it really isn't that hard to do. It's, it's, it's just the masks that can be a bit of a pain, but really this effect is three points in a mask. So zoom out, click three points in that mask, and uh, you're good to go. And then any of the adjustments that you make uh, here, 
So if we go back to, let's do this one. If I go to the uh, offset, all of those numbers are still available. So I can still change that. You could even animate this over time. So I can animate the words coming down in here. But for me, the real effect is when this is jumping like it does. Boom, it does that sharp offset jump. Very dramatic. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us some more? You can do that on videorevealed.com slash shop where I will put these titles for free. Yes, I'll put all of these adjustment layers in the in the titles. I, I, I can't put the music on there, but uh, I'll, and the video I can't put on there. I won't put my logo on there, but at least you'll have the adjustment layers and you'll be able to copy and paste them. You could, oh, one last thing. You could right click on this offset and save this as a preset. And uh, because there's no keyframes, it doesn't matter what choice you use, but you could save this as a slice. So you could save, save one, two, or, or 10 of them and drag them on an adjustment layer and do the same effect or drag them right on a clip and have that uh, slice however you want. But I'm gonna stick this on videoreveal.com uh, slash shop so you can uh, try them out. But if you wanna support us, you can uh, uh, donate once or monthly any amount. We love all of our wonderful donors. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to uh, sit there and watch TV sometimes and think, boy, that's a neat title. Maybe folks would like to play around.